Hi, ho guys and gals, welcome back to the Dana Tools, and do not adjust your screen. You are seeing things correctly because we've got the Top Don TC View thermal camera in the shop. Top Don was nice enough to sponsor this video, send this over for us to review and take a look at. I've been putting it through its paces for the past two or three weeks now. I think I get a good grasp on how this thing works. So we're going to jump through some of the stuff, show you what it can do, what we've been using it for, some of the things you want to think about when using a thermal camera like this, what, is, what it can do, what it can't do. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to tell you about the pricings and the deals because you know that's what we do here in the den is we get you the deals. So let's take a look at it. Okay, and let's take a look at this uh, little dirt bike the kids have been riding and they keep flooding and stuff. We're trying to take a look at the engine here, see where the heat is, what's going on there with the engine. It's interesting, but you see the photo down the lower left. Here's something that's kind of interesting. Look at the tires on my truck there. Now that's because we need to talk about three factors when it comes to IR. We're talking about reflectivity, transmitted energy, and an emitter. So there's three types of surfaces, all right? An emitter is something that gives off heat, it absorbs it, gives it off. Transmitter is something that produces heat, like the grill here, all right? And then a reflector is something that doesn't absorb heat and actually kicks it back at you. Now this is the inside of the grill. Of course, it's blazing hot in there. Uh, we've had this thing fired up. Now we can see the hot dogs on here. These are absorbing and then retransmitting heat. There you can see the kids and the dog. They're transmitting, they're emitting their own heat or transmitting their own heat. Uh, again, an emitter is something that, that grabs the heat and then gives it back off, like the steel and stuff like that there on, on this grill. Now we're in the house. Those cool spots are windows. That's a TV right there looking super hot. Uh, we got the windows again. Now we're going to look out towards the grill. There's the screen door. The grill is right outside these windows. It should be blazing hot. Any movie you've ever seen would show that, oh, you could see everything. The people you see there, they're not outside they're actually inside because that window is reflecting back, all right? It's not allowing the transmission going through the surface. And then we can see the, the kids and some of the adults. Now look at the glasses everyone's wearing. Again, blocking the, the emission or transmission of heat because they're reflective surfaces, all right? Now, this is some friends of ours came over. They're doing a cook for us. They were doing French fries here. Now they've got two pots nearly pretty much nearly identical. The difference is one of the pots is a white enamel. The other pot there is a black, I don't know if it was a cast iron or, but it was a black uh, textured surface. And you could clearly see the one on the left is the white pot because it's reflecting everything. All the heat is coming back out. Whereas the other one being an emitter, it's absorbing heat and allowing you to actually see what's going on where we pan back to the, and they have the same amount of fries in them. And yet you can really see more on the right than you can on the left. It's really kind of a unique situation there where you can see what's going on one and not with what's going on the other. Let's jump down underneath the pots and see what's going on. On the left, we've got the reflective pot and it's just kind of throwing heat everywhere. You can't really see everything that, that's there, but the darker pot being uh, an, an emitter, it's absorbing the heat. And look at that, you can see all the lines, everything through there, you really know what's going on. Here's another one, look at it. We put the screen over on one side and you can see right through the screen mesh. Of course, you know, cooking with bacon, you, you, can, you can see exactly how delicious it is. Well, there you go. There you have it. We're back on Amazon here. Thermal camera for iOS, iPhone, and iPad. Hold on. Don't, don't run away because they also have this essentially the same thing for Android here. But we got some interesting information here. So this one is $300, $60 off coupon, and there's going to be a 10% off coupon code. Now, I don't know if that coupon code is going to work on the Android version, but it's already on sale down to 240 So I don't know. You could try it to see if it works. Here's the interesting thing. So I love the, um, the, the, the iOS version. Uh, it, it's fantastic. And let me show you some of the stuff. Let me get my keyboard out of the way. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that comes with it. Okay, so this is the package you get, the top down here. And then great little case. You unzip it. Here's your extension cable, cleaning cloth, nice solid foam, and this is the device itself. It's pretty simple. Oh, let me get it in camera there. It's a pretty simple device. 
The one thing that would be nice if there was a retractable shutter over this. There isn't, but uh, you know, I keep it in the case most of the time. And all you do <laughs> is you drop it, you take it, line it up with your phone, plug it in, it pops up, it says, do you want to allow, allow, click on that, boom, we've got thermal imaging here. It takes a second to calibrate. And uh, then you can see what's going on. See my hand in the window there. Anyway, that's all it, it takes to, to get this thing up and running. It's super quick, it's super easy. So that's everything that comes with it. Now again, we're back on, on, on Amazon here, $200, $300, $60 off coupon. And then there's gonna be a, a discount code down below in the link there. Make sure you apply that because the deals do stack and that's what we try to do here. Now there's also the Android version. The Android version is kind of compelling even if you don't have Android because you can use it with your PC as well. So that cable I showed you, now this uh, I think also works for the iOS. I think you can plug it into any iOS device. So you, I don't know, I'm not a Mac guy, so you might be able to plug it into a, a MacBook or stuff. But I do know on the Android version, you can plug it directly into your PC, run their PC app, and be able to use it that way. And with the cable, then you can take it, you can point it, you can do all sorts of stuff with it. Anyway, a ton of fun with these, but you know what? What are they gonna be used for? Uh, you know, you saw me use it a lot for cooking, finding leaks, you know, thermal leaks around the house, maybe taking a look at an exhaust system to see what's going on, tracing anything that, that you know, that, that could be hot, like tools and stuff like that. Or is your extension cord getting too hot? Is the motor getting too hot? Where are you seeing heat variances? This is not the super most accurate thermal device you're gonna get. But if you want to get into one of those high-end FLIR devices, scientific level kind of stuff, you're going to be spending, you know, a lot more than this, thousands more than this. This is for basically telling basic heat ranges and thermal differences. And one of the ways I, I, I've often found to do this is by finding something to calibrate against. If, if I want to really, if I'm looking at an image and I'm not getting what I want out of it, I'll stick my hand out there and then my hand will become the new basis for it. And that'll really give that, that variance in temperature to really get things to pop. All right, anyway, let me know what you think down below. If you've used one of these, what are, what are your thoughts? What are your best case uses for something like this? Let me know down in the comments. While you're down there, don't forget to chomp the old like button, smash the subscribe, ring the bell on your way out. You all take care, God bless, and as always, shine on.